Most of the popular Korean films this year were based on historical events such as the Japanese colonial rule and the Gwangju pro-democracy movement in the 1980s. The trend will continue for a while as more films based on Korean history are ready to hit the theaters, Cho Sang-min reports. The two most commercially successful and critically acclaimed films this year at the Korean box office were based on historical facts. The Battleship Island was based on the lives of Koreans who were forced to work in Japan's Hashima Island, while a taxi driver depicted the pro-democracy uprising in Gwangju in the 1980s, seen from the perspectives of a German reporter and a Korean taxi driver. With movies based on real-life events proving to strike a chord in audiences nationwide, Critics are anticipating two new films to draw huge crowds as they also illustrate a sad chapter of Korean history, victims of Japan's wartime sexual slavery. The film titled I Can Speak is about an elder lady named Okbun befriending a young man who teaches her how to speak English. It has a humorous vibe from beginning to the midpoint of the film, but the tone changes drastically in a scene where Okbun confesses she is a former sex slave. Director of the film says two former victims, Yi Yong Su and late Kim Gunja, testifying in front of the U.S. Congress in 2007, which prompted the House to pass a resolution asking the Japanese government for a formal apology, was the motive of the film. The film will move the viewers and could even make them feel guilty for not paying enough attention to the issue before. The other film, Spirit's Homecoming Unfinished Story, is a sequel to Spirit's Homecoming, which earned positive reviews from the public in 2015. The movie was made to resemble a documentary as it contains remarks from real-life victims. Knowing that most of the victims are in their 90s, I had to come up with a sequel in order to deliver the messages and words that the victims wanted to convey. Based on the recent data and current trend, the go-to formula to win the audience's heart doesn't seem to be big budgets or state-of-the-art special effects anymore, but heartfelt and sincere depictions of the nation's history. Cho Sung-min, Arirang News.